Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, watch our video. Bye. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna have a brand new hat. A brand new hat. Yeah, yeah we do. We're gonna have to wash your shoes. Yeah, we're gonna do off-red laundry. Off-red laundry. Yeah. 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 We have, we have one of those little, uh, it's an RV style washer and dryer. Um, and she got her birthday. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. And uh, we're going to try it. Give it a try. We've seen some reviews on them. They seem to work pretty good. So it's kind of an open box. This is from Amazon and we'll leave links down in the description if anybody wants to check them out. We've got knobs. Yeah, knobs. we got knob, knobs. Knobs, knobs. Knobs, knobs, knobs. Okay, let me take it out of the box. Yeah. It's just standard 110, 120 plug. Got a hose and a lamp. There's the washing side. This is the dryer side. You got I me, mean, you can't get a lot of stuff in there, but, but you know, some be better than none. Wash time, normal, soft, and drain. Okay, that's the water inlet. Water inlet. Right, we got that over here just for testing purposes. We got it set up on this little table, and the drain is just off in a five gallon bucket. In order to test it, here's the plug. I put my power meter in over in a while. I'll show you in a minute. It tells how much watts this thing's using. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into that, and that way we'll be able to tell you know, exactly how much power it's consuming and stuff like that. And as far as putting water in it, I was thinking you had to run a hose to it and all that crap, but you don't. You don't have to. You put your clothes in it, put your detergent in it, and then you can take a sprayer off to back here and just spray water in it. I'm gonna plug it up and get everything ready, and she can come over here and show you what she's doing, and I'll. I'll let her explain to you basically what she's doing too, and I'll go ahead and plug it up and get it ready for her, and I'll let her take over. You ready? Yeah. Put that in. You don't have to put a whole lot of laundry soap in. It don't take a lot. Are you ready? Yeah. Want to help Nana spray it? Yeah. And this is the filter. Yeah. They say not to fill it up past right there, inside here, that filter right there. And this thing only weighs, what, 25 pounds? Huh? Yeah, like 25, 28 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Total. That, I mean, that's without no clothing, of course, but in the box, when it shipped, it's like 28 pounds. So it's not heavy at all. And she can actually pick it up and move it around herself, so. Yes. You want to, when you fill the water up, you want to put it just, just barely over the clothes. You don't, you don't fill it all the way up. You just put it right over the clothes that's in there. I think that should be enough water. Yeah. Like I said, you just want to fill the water up to the right to the top of the clothes where it just barely covers the clothes. Close your lid. Your timer. Your wash timer. I'm going to do nine minutes. I'm All right. Let's close it by my Right there is what it's using to wash laundry with right there. Oh, yeah. As you can see, it's working. It's actually spinning pretty hard. So we'll let that go for, she got it on like nine minutes. I may have to put it on the whole 15. Well, let's go ahead and Just go ahead and do the whole 15 minutes. Yeah. We're going to do the whole 15 minutes. Just because we put a little bit more in there. But anyway, we'll do the whole 15 minutes. And these are my work clothes, so they'll be dirty. Pretty bad dirty, so anyway. I mean, working around here clothes, you know, getting them dirty and stuff like that, and muddy. And uh, we'll go 15 minutes and see how they look. Drain the water out. Drain the water out. And put new water in it. And put new water in it. That's exactly right. Good job. And put it in that. Okay. Well, nope, we got to so, rinse it out. Right here. Right here. See put this the hose. One? See this? We're going to pull this off. Put it down in the bucket. Put it down in the bucket. And uh, water drain out. Okay, then we're going to turn, turn it, it over drain. to drain. Okay, and as you can hear it, the water is draining out. This thing has two water inlets up here. It comes with a hose right here. 
Our, it won't, our zinc won't, it won't fit our zinc or faucet, whatever you want to call it. And all you gotta do is stick it right on here like that and it'll fill it up for you. And then over here on this side, it's also a water inlet. Okay, say like whenever you're wringing your clothes up, this thing is not technically a dryer. It just rings, it just spins them so fast it slings the water off of it. But if you want to run water in there and rinse them on this side, that's what it's for. You know, take them directly out here, out if you just wash them, put them in there, and you can rinse them on this side as you spin them. So, I mean, just food for thought. But what we're going to do is we're going to leave the clothes in here, and then I'm going to run more, I'm going to put cold water in it this time, on this side right here, because it's all drained out now in the bucket, so I'll go throw the bucket out, and then I'll, uh, we'll start it again, let it rain for, what, 10 minutes, 10, about the same length of time? Yeah. 10, 15 minutes, we'll let it rinse them. So, anyway, then we'll put them in dryer. But anyway, let me get some water in it, and I'll be right back. I got when we're experimenting on this, we actually throwed our, uh, like, muddy clothes in here. Uh, she had clothes on where she walked the dog and got mud all over, and then my clothes where I'm, I'm always out inside in the yard and getting down in the mud and everything like that. We throw them in here just basically just to test it to see how it's done on really, really dirty clothes. And it looks pretty impressive. I mean, Anna, for what Anna, it is. See, look how bright white them socks are right there. Or your booty things are right there. Yeah. Can I see them? See how bright white that is? The socks yeah. and stuff? Yeah. I mean, that's no bleach. We just throw the tide. I mean, in they're there. darks, but they're. Yeah. But the white part of it is like really white. Yeah. All right, we'll get this filled up and we'll be right back. Me too. Him too. <laughs> so this is the rinse cycle. Okay, now let's turn this. We'll put it back on 15 minutes, Bubba, right there. Okay, right there. It actually cleaned crap out of them, so we'll see how it works. Now he's going to turn it over on train. Okay, Bubba, he can do it. Let Bubba do it. Okay. See if he can do that, Bubba. Put it over here on train. You're gonna turn it. Give me help. Let Nana help you. Okay, okay help me. Just a little bit. Right there. There. Okay. Now you see the water running out of it. Hold it. You're gonna hold it. Good job. All right. When this gets done draining, then we're gonna take them out of here and we're gonna put them in here for them to spin. Take that out. That actually goes, once you put the clothes in there, it goes on top of the clothes to keep it from vibrating so bad. This one wet. This one wet. Mm-hmm. This one wet. 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 I just do that many at first. All right. That's enough right now, Bubba. Let's dry them out. Let's dry these out. You gonna put that thing on top. Put it right on top of them. Nice like that. Yeah. Then you close this. The, the spin cycle only does half, I think, of what. Yep, and you leave that hose down in the bucket over there. Okay. Uh, they're shaking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shaking me. Shaking. 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 He just had to get leveled out before it quit shaking so bad. So, now it ain't shaking hardly at all. So we'll let it shake out for ever how many minutes that is? Five. Five minutes. Well, about four now. Anyway, they'll run out. They'll spin it. They'll be right back. So it's using 117 watts on the drying cycle. Which is basically just a spin cycle. It ain't really drying. It's just spinning the water out. But anyway, 117 watts is all it's used. That's about what it used to wash also. So. So about 107, just say 120 watts to be on the safe side. I didn't need the basket. I didn't need the basket. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you reach him? <laughs> He's trying to read the boat. Okay. So it took two spin cycles to spin out what one load was. Okay. So yes. that's pretty good. Okay, close it. And then we're going to set our timer. Turn it. Turn it. All the way, Bob. Oh, and it's going to vibrate you again. There it goes, Bob. Look at him. 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 Look at him
Look at him. Oh, it's moving now. Look at him. Moving, moving, moving. I bet darn this clothes. I'm a thing in my hat. <laughs> All right, guys. One other thing about this thing is, it actually has a emergency shut off on it on this on the, the spin side because it spins so fast. So like if a baby or something walks over and jerks it open, it'll it'll stop. So I'll show you. It stops pretty quick too. So just take it right back off and you throw the lid. Gonna vibrate it first because it's gonna get the load leveled out. We'll see. Pretty smooth now though. Trouch a brand new clothesline. It, it works very well. I mean, it, it actually got the clothes really, really clean. We're gonna hang them out on our brand new clothesline we built. Basically, this thing uses for the wash cycle we put in probably three and a half to four gallons of water, and on the rinse cycle we put in three and a half to four gallons of water because there's still about that much room in the five gallon bucket once we drained it, everything in it out. There's still about that much room in the five gallon bucket, so that's three and a half to four gallons of water. So you're looking at seven, eight gallons of water to wash one load. So, I mean, that's not bad. That's not real bad. These jeans right here, they were covered in mud. So that little washer, it did really good getting them clean. Did it get them pretty clean? Yeah. Did you do a good job? Yeah. Good job, bubba. All right, guys, if you ain't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, we, yeah, you hit that like and subscribe button. Oh. Bye. What's more videos, he said. Bye.